हरे कृष्णा वेलकम टू द अपकमिंग ब्यूटीफुल जन्माष्टमी सेलिब्रेशन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री टूडे आई लाइक टू स्पीक टू ऑल ऑफ यू अबाउट अ वेरी स्पेशल प्रिंसिपल वेर कृष्णा इज बीन कॉल्ड एज द वेरी रूट ऑफ क्रिएशन दिस पर्टिकुलर अंडरस्टैंडिंग कम्स फ्रॉम अ वेरी ब्यूटिफुल वर्ड्स फ्रॉम श्रीमद भागवतम यथा तरोर मूल निश्चन तृप्यंति तद स्कंद भुजोपशाखा प्राणोपहारा यथेन्द्रिया तथा सर्वहनम अच्युत्य द मीनिंग इज दट कृष्ण इज द रूट ऑफ क्रिएशन एंड ऑल ऑफ अस आर लाइक द ब्रांचेस द सब ब्रांचेस द लीव्स द फ्लावर्स ऑफ दिस ह्यूज यूनिवर्सल ट्री अ ब्यूटिफुल स्टोरी फ्रॉम द महाभारत इलास्ट्रेट दिस वेरी नाइसली मैं द पांडोज वॉर इन एक्साइल फॉर ट्वेल्व लॉन्ग इयर्स एट द टाइम दे वर लिविंग इन अ प्लेस कॉल एस कामियवन Duryodhan as you know was a very envious person and he actually sent <coughs> Durvasa Muni to go and visit the ashram of the Pandavas after Draupadi had finished the the food because as you know this <coughs> special akshay patra once the feeding is done and she has served all the Pandavas that plate becomes like an ordinary plate and does not produce any more food So Duras Muni comes here with along with this big band of sixty thousand followers. Imagine sixty thousand followers, you know, all coming at the right time for at the at noon time. All of them very very hungry. And said, "Dropadi, we are very hungry. Is there something for us to eat?" And she is shocked. Now she has no food in the in the house, and she tells Yudhishthir Maharaj, "How do, we are supposed to be kings, and you know." If you are in the palace, we would have served them with such royalties. There is nothing around here, and the plate has now become ordinary. So Yudhishthira says, "Okay, I tell them to just go and have a bath in the close by Yamuna, and then when you come back, doing your Gayatri, by the time we would have made some prasad ready for you." <clears throat> and in the meanwhile, Draupadi becomes so much <clears throat> petrified, sorrowful, grief-stricken. She starts crying, "My dear Govinda, my dear Krishna." How do I really serve? They are atithis. They are like deva bhava. How do I serve these people? And as soon as he remembers Krishna within her heart, Krishna appears. Krishna always responds to the call of his devotees. He comes there and said, "Draupadi has something for me to eat." Oh my Lord, you have come. My plate is empty. There is nothing to eat. Go and get the plate. Let me see. Something may be there. She gets that empty plate. It is already washed. There's a small bit of stuck vegetable which it was not cleaned properly. He says, "Oh, this is there." He takes it, puts it in his mouth. As he puts it in his mouth, the Duras Muni and his followers are bathing there in the Yamuna. They have a huge burp, as if they have eaten a whole ton of food in the stomach, and they are feeling, "Oh my God, our stomachs feel full. We can't eat even a single morsel of food now." You see, Maharaj tells. Bhimsen, go and call all our guests. The food is ready. <clears throat> so when Bhimsen goes there with his gada and said, "My dear Duras Muni and great followers, Rishi Muni's, please come to the ashram. The prasad is ready." And they feel, "Oh my God, how can we eat food now? We are totally packed till the very necks. We can't eat a poor single morsel." And they said, "Okay, we'll come later. later. Excuse us. We have something important." And they just leave that place. Krishna. Simply eating this small morsel of remnants of food, <clears throat> when you feed the roots of the tree, all the parts of the tree are satisfied. Janmasi was a day when we really offer <clears throat> the love of our hearts to the very root of creation, to the root of our own very existence. And when He is nourished, we are nourished. We are happy. We feel sense of fulfillment. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Mm-hmm.